<clears throat> Hello, everybody. It's Crafting Just Because with Chris Cowan. Hello, oh, whoops. Everybody. Sorry. Okay. Just adjusting here a bit. Okay, so today we are playing with the Excellent Eggs um, bundle, and I also am using a piece from the Thoughtful Expressions dies, and we are going to create a little Easter treat, and I went ahead and pre-colored the um, Easter egg and cut it out, and what I love about the dies is it leaves a little border, but it's like a stitched border around the outside. And then this is the piece that we cut from the Thoughtful Expressions dies. And is there one more part? It's going to be a little treat holder that we're going to create. Um, and I was making these for my husband's work. And actually, I have a sample here. I could show you guys what we're going to make. So this is what what I made and it's filled with candy and it holds about four pieces of candy so I'll show you the candy here in a minute but let's go ahead and get started um, since I already colored everything and die cut everything I made that a little bit easier and I also have a little rabbit my rabbit got a little off but let's go ahead and get started so you need um, this is perfect for six by six um, paper, and I'm using the um, in the air paper, I believe it's called. And what you're going to do is on one side, you want to score it. Uh, and so if it's directional, so I want my scallops to go down. So I'm going to put it um, just like this, and you want to score it at one and a half inches two and three quarters of an inch, four and a quarter inches, and five and a half inches. Okay. And then you want to rotate it 90 degrees and you want to score it at one and a quarter inches. Okay. So now we're going to burnish our paper on those score lines. Okay. And then we're going to want to do a little bit of trimming. So on this half inch piece, we want to cut this bottom rectangle out. So I'm going to cut it to the intersecting score line and I'm going to tab it just like this so that I have a tab to put glue on. Okay. Then along the bottom, we want to cut up each of those score lines to the intersecting score line. And then if you notice, you have two smaller sections right here so one by the tab and then the next one i'm going to wedge those so that it folds the box up a little nicer so i'm just going to kind of go in at an angle and wedge and then i trim a teeny tiny bit off the bottom and i'm going to do the same thing on this one just so it folds up nice when we do our little treat box Okay, so that's what your finished cutting job should look like. Okay, so next, what we're going to do is we're going to add glue to that half inch piece. And I'm going to fold this over on top of it. 
And then I just like to do a little bit of a burnish. Okay. Then I like to open it up. And this is my back because that's where that seam is. So this is my front. I like to push my front down. And then I start from a side. Okay. And I'm just going to add glue. So I'm going to add glue on that tab and push it down. Okay. And now I'm going to put glue all along that back piece. Just like that. Fold it over. Keep that box shape. Okay. And now we're going to do our front tab. Just so that that front looks nice and cohesive. Okay. So that's what this looks like so far. Then I put it on its bottom. And I put my bone folder in there. And I just run that along in there to make sure it's nice and sealed down. Okay, next, this is so such an easy project. Next, I'm gonna take my little tab and I want it to be the opposite. So when it lays like this, I want it to be the opposite color. So I'm gonna put glue about a quarter of the way down on my tab, just like that, okay? And then I'm gonna seal that to the back on the inside just like this and then I'm going to lay it flat and whoops make sure it stays straight and run my bone folder over that okay just like that pretty simple pretty easy now I'm going to fold in the sides like that with my nails and fold this over to create a flap isn't that a great way to you make a flap and then I'm just gonna poke two holes and I do the smaller ones because I'm using Baker's twine. And so I'm gonna do one there and one there. Okay. Now, this is a super easy project. Now we're gonna fill it with our candy so I'm going to open it back up. I have a little fun size bag of M&Ms. Okay. I have a little Twix. And I have two mini um, candy bars. So it'll hold four pieces of candy. Then I fold that back up like I showed you. And now I'm going to take some Baker's Twine. And I like to use... Um, a needle and so this is just a craft needle and I put my twine through it put it through the hole put it through this hole and then we're going to tie a knot Just like that. And I, I make a little knot just so it stays shut. Okay. And then I'm going to tie a bow. And I hold the middle and I make the bow the the length I want it to be. And then I just trim that off. Okay. And then I went ahead and I just put glue down the center of my little egg that I colored. And then I took my bunny and added glue all over the back of him and I put it up here on my little tag. Whoops. And I hold those down for just a minute since I am using liquid multi-purpose glue. Make sure that they're 
on there. And those are our little treat boxes for today using the Excellent Egg and the Thoughtful Expressions dies. So I love how that turned out. Cute and easy little treats for my husband's work. And like I said, it held more candy than I thought. It held four pieces, which is awesome. So until next time, my creative peeps, I will see you later. I hope you have a great night. Bye-bye.